Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Beliefs of Islam with me, Hassan Hadi. Today's episode is the Prophets according to Islam. Now, the rational necessity of messengers and prophets has been established as a consequence of the existence of the God of creation who has a purpose in creating humanity and all other things. It is now of the utmost importance to dwell upon the qualities and functions of such prophets according to the texts of Islam, since the rational qualities such prophets and messengers has been established. Now Muslims are required to believe that God has sent a long line of prophets and messengers for the purpose of guiding humanity towards salvation and self-development. If this were not the case, then the creation would fail to serve its creator's intended purpose. We human beings would, as a result, drown in an ocean of confusion and obscurity purposelessly. As the Quran states here, messengers who gave glad tidings as well as warning so that mankind, after the coming of these messengers, may have no plea against Allah, the exalted in power, the wise. Holy Quran, chapter 4, verse 165. Muslims believe that among all the prophets, there are five greater prophets who are the most prominent because they brought the law, divine books, and new religions. The first was Nu, known in Arabic as Nuh. The second was Abraham, known as Ibrahim. The third was Moses, known as Musa. The fourth was Jesus, the Messiah, known as Isa al Masih. And the last of them all was Muhammad, the Prophet, the seal of all the Prophets, and the greatest of them. As the Quran states here, And remember when we made a covenant with you, as we did with the other Prophets, with Nuh and Abraham, with Moses and Jesus, the son of Mary. We took from them a solemn covenant so that Allah might question the truthful about their truthfulness. Allah has prepared for the unbelievers a grievous punishment. Bear up with them patience, as did the greater prophets Ulul Azm before you, and be in no haste about the unbelievers. Our Muslims believe that the Holy Prophet Muhammad closed the long line of messengers, and he is the last of all the prophets. His Islamic law will cover all the mankind and will remain until the end of the world. As the narration states, the permissible of Muhammad is permissible until the day of judgment, and the impermissible of Muhammad is impermissible until the day of judgment. The nature of his doctrine and Islamic commandments is so perfect that they will satisfy all the needs of mankind up to its untimely end. If after Muhammad the Prophet, anyone claims to be a prophet, such by default is a false one claim. As the Quran states here, Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of all the prophets. Allah has full knowledge of all things. This is for today. Until we meet next episode, thank you very much indeed. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.